Yo, what is good to welcome back to another GeoGuessr, and today we'll be doing the new GTA 5 San Andreas GeoGuessr. And I also knew about this game because when this game came out, it was like during the PS2 era, and I didn't get a PS2 until like GTA 5 was out. So I really never played this game. But today we're going to see how good I can do in GTA San Andreas, which I, I mean, I did on for the GTA 5 one, I did pretty good. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out after this. And also, if there's any other games in this website that you like to see that are shown on the screen, comment them down below. But now let's get into this. I'm right, starting off with game number one, which is easy. So we're beating three games today, which, and game number three is going to be the hardest, which will show, obviously, which you'll see later on in the video. But right now, I see houses. That looks like to turn. Could this possibly be? Honestly, I do not know. I'm going to guess around here, and hopefully this is correct. I was not even close, not going to lie. It was all the way over here. That wasn't even close. Alrighty, we're in a cul-de-sac. Just telephone poles. Um, we're next to the ocean too, which is a good sign. If I look east, we're close to the ocean, I think. Our final guess, I'm gonna guess just around this area and hopefully this is correct. No, not even close. Not even close. Literally 59 points. It was literally across the map. Are you kidding me? Alright, come on. We gotta pick it up. We gotta pick it up. Ironically, game number three is always my best game. But this time we gotta pick it up. Come on, I believe in us. This to me looks like, uh, probably like, you know, to you guys, like, this is like, oh, that's like iconic. But to me, this just looks like any other road. I'm assuming though it's like right around this area for the fact that it's like nice looking houses. And again, I can't really assume, but this looks like a regular neighborhood. Wait, hold up. I think I see the vision because there's a mountain. So I'm gonna guess around here. Let's go. I actually did really good there, dude. I got freaking actually close. Like a few more blocks away, I probably would have got it correct. Let's go. Alrighty, what is this? The heck? This is like a, what, a casino area, if I'm not mistaken. A casino. I'm gonna guess right here, and hopefully this is correct. That was not even close, not gonna lie, not even close. Alrighty, last round of game number one. This is on a mountain, so at least I need to have some awareness. At least of this on a mountain that looks into a city. Oh, it has to be right here then. Literally like this right here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Literally that. Not even close, literally on the other side of the map. Why did I assume right away? I shouldn't have assumed. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have got this though. I'm not even gonna lie with you, I wouldn't have got this. For game number one, I'd even get 5,000 points. That's really bad. But now let's get into game number two. Alrighty, now getting into game number two, basically, the thing that makes this game number two hard is I cannot zoom in and I cannot move at all. So wherever I spawn, I can only look around. I see a triangle, or obviously it's like a triangle, like a freaking pyramid. But I have no clue what that means, so I'm gonna have to try to find them. There's a motel too. Alright, I'm gonna make a final guess around this area. I think that's my best assumption. Nope, not even close. The worst part was I looked in that area, couldn't even see the diamond or the pyramid, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, in this, I see absolutely nothing besides a road next to a mountain, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, literally right next to a mountain. I'm gonna guess right here. This is my best assumption, like around that area. Nope, across the map. Dude, I am literally so bad at this. Not even gonna lie, I'm terrible. Alrighty, I'm in the forest. Come on, I gotta get this right. Literally, like in a forest. How many maps in GTA have forests? Well, like, actually a lot. I'm also next to a mountain. I see a mountain when I look west. I'm assuming it's around like this general area. There's a lot of trees. I don't even see water. I'm gonna guess around here. Let's go. I probably could have got closer if I guessed it past the water, but you know what? Let's freaking go, anyways. Alrighty, round number four. Do we really need that? Like, oh my goodness, that was necessary. Like, we were screwed if we did not get that. That looks like I'm on a freeway next to a casino in the desert. So I'm assuming it's from like the brownish, like deserty area on the freeway. So let's see if I can see. There's also an overpass over over me. So that's also another hint. I'm gonna guess right here. Dang it, it was over here. You know what? I'll take I'll take the 500 points. Honestly, I just need it. All right, now into the last round of game number two. We're next to Pink and Go Market. Honestly, the price is not that bad. Two, two bucks for milk is not even bad at all. But gonna be honest again, no clue where this is. This could be anywhere on the map, and I'd have no clue. I'm gonna guess around here. Let's freaking go. I did, dude, I did really good this round. Holy crap, I needed these 2,000 points. Let's go. Game number two, I still be my score. Game number one, where I had the most variety. But now let's get to the hardest one. Game number three. Already getting into game number three. Now, this is gonna be the hardest one. Literally the hardest one. Like, I cannot do anything. I cannot move. I cannot. There's a timer, too. Literally nothing. So what I see is what I have to guess. And it looks like I'm in a forest area. And I only have 50 seconds to guess. So hopefully I can get this. But this could be honestly anywhere. But you know what? My gut last time took me around here for the tree. So let's go back here again. Let's go. I was actually close again. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. I was clutch. I see a building. A green light. And that is it. And a turn. That gives me nothing. Honestly nothing. And on the reflection of the glass. I see nothing as well. So I have no clue where this could be honestly. Not that. I'm gonna just guess, I say like in the middle of the map and just hope for the best. I somehow got close, what the heck, dude? What? That's actually insane, I did not think I would get that close. Dude, like I said earlier, game number three for no reason, for literally no reason, it's just my best game, like it makes no sense. So like, I do actually good game number three, which actually makes no sense. The, the thing I'm most limited on is what I do amazing at. But right now I just see a tower and just a road, and that's kind of in thing, uh, like a little mountain to the right. Like around here, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I should have stuck to my gun state in that area. Gosh dang it. Alrighty, second to final round of game number three. 
It looks like I'm next to the desert. Oh, wait, I think I know where this area is. I think I do. If I'm not mistaken, it's around here. I was kind of close. It's on the other side, but I, I remember I remember seeing the little things right here because of the freeway. Alrighty, last round of the last game of game number three. I'm on this freaking grass side, and I think it goes into the water. And last time I guessed that, it was like literally like around here. So I'm going to guess like this right here. No, I was sorely mistaken. I was literally sorely mistaken. That was great. That was a terrible round. Dude, somehow we beat all our scores in total. I don't even know how we did. This makes no sense. Literally none. How did game number three get the hardest game out of all the three? Get the highest score from game number one, which is supposed to be easy. That makes no sense. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more. And if you guys want more content like this, comment down below as well. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.